This printing press was located in a tent office in Greenwater in 1906. Now Greenwater was a copper discovery in the mountains above Death Valley. This printing press turned out a little magazine called The Death Valley Chuckwalla, a magazine for men. The owner and editor was Carl Glasscock, who wrote about the wealth of the Greenwater discovery and bragged about the certain future of its prospects. It attracted Goldfield's George Graham Rice and the legitimate mining investors from Tonopah and Rhyolite. In the heat of all the gold rush frenzy taking place throughout the region, Greenwater was the next big boom. After all, copper was in high demand as the nation was stretching cables from coast to coast. With the help of George Graham Rice, Carl Glasscock's little magazine made its way to the big cities of the East. It helped convince people that investing in green water stocks would result in fabulous riches. Within months, more than $30 million in stock was sold. In another six months, green water copper had tapped out. There was only $5,000 worth of ore in the ground. It was one of the biggest stock swindles in mining history. And this little printing press, now at the Borax Museum in Death Valley, helped it all happen. Some years later and looking back, Carl Glasscock reflected, I'm a little ashamed.